Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and it is early spring, the best time of the year. So you can just envision how perfect your garden is going to look. So now is the time to divide so you can multiply. Divide some of your perennials so that you can have more of them or multiply them. So let me show you what I'm doing in this bed here. I'm going to rip up This is a ground cover. This is a lamium ground cover. It loves the shade. It loves the shade way too much. So I'm going to be moving it. And now, because that ground cover has been growing there for a while, I'm going to just sprinkle some osmocote. This is a slow release plant food. Now, I didn't put too much because I'm going to be growing the uh, hookeras. And hookeras are a foliage plant. It does, it's not a heavy bloomer, not like a delphinium or a rose. So it doesn't need too much fertilizer. Just barely sprinkle some in the soil. Now watch, I'm going to work that in. Okay, so now my soil is soft. Now how do I divide so that I can multiply? Well, over here, I have a clump of ukura. And... Wow. Found an old snail. Crush that. Pull out the, once again, that ground cover. It's going to throw away. Now, here's what happens to hookera when they get old. Pulling off these leafless stems. This is a stem that has been growing for a couple of years in the ground. It's not very productive. I'm going to cut it off right like that. Oh no, I see that it's hollow here. Oops. Uh, if you can get a close up of this. What's happened is this stem has got a strawberry weevil burrowing into it. You can see I'm squeezing that out. You see that? That is the weevil. And by cutting that weevil out, you can see it bore it all the way in until I get to some white. Once I get to white where I see no more brown and I don't see that, that squishy little white body of the strawberry weevil, then I know that I've got some good tissue and I can actually replant this with no roots on it. Simply push it into the soft soil and it will root quite easily. Now let's see if I find another one. Okay, I'm pulling these apart, pulling off the dead leaves of this hookera. Okay. Now, here's the old stem. Cut the whole thing off. Look, it's nice and white. There is no what weevil that has burrowed that stem. So I just simply remove the lower leaves. Even though you see no roots on this stem, I can simply poke it into the soft ground, firm it up so it stands upright, and that will root. Here's another one. Now this one, I've got one growing off the side of the main trunk. I'm going to snap that off, check it out, I see no, I have nice, healthy white tissue. I see no black burrowing insect in there. The, the stem turns black, but the insect itself is white. So I will simply poke that in as well. And now let's see this one. That's also nice white tissue. Always pull off the lowest leaves. The reason is because what you only need about that much. Oops, I see brown again. A little more, more brown, more brown. Oh no, oh, finally I get to some nice healthy white tissue. So now, pull out the lower leaves. Because I pulled out the leaf, this area that's going to be underground that did have a leaf, it was a leaf node, it will now make roots. That's how amazing these plants are. Push it in soft soil like that. And I'm going to get a whole row of hookera just by replanting these plants that were kind of sad because they had some leaf damage. Now, most hookeras, you can divide them up like this every year or every other year, so you will have a huge supply of beautiful hookeras. And there I go, white tissue. You move the lower leaves, poke it in the ground, and I'm going to have a nice collection of hookera. I also will use my hookeras in container gardens. Um, I'll use them for borders. They like the shade. Some can tolerate some sun, 
But any of these big old leaves, take them out, take them off, rip them off. Now, poke that right in the ground, and you've got yourself more hookerus. It's been Mary Ann Bonetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens. If you enjoyed these gardening tips, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on new videos and stay in the know about all things gardening. Click the red subscribe button below. See the description below for more information about how to connect with us on plantersplace.com, Facebook, and Instagram.